Okay, question 18 is about quadrilaterals. So let's take a look at what we've got so far. This one here is a rhombus. And that's got all four sides the same. A bit like a square. This one here is a kite. This here is a rectangle. Down here we've got a square. And here we've got a parallelogram. Remember, a rectangle and a parallelogram are similar because they've got a pair of short sides and a pair of long sides as well. But the difference is that a rectangle's got four right angles and a parallel parallelogram doesn't have any right angles. Okay? So let's see what the question's got to do. It says the diagonals of this quadrilateral, which is the rhombus, cross at right angles. Take all the quadrilaterals that have diagonals which cross at right angles. Now, the key word here is the diagonals. To find the diagonals in a quadrilateral, what you've got to do is join opposite corners. So this corner and this corner are opposite, so they're joined with that line. And this corner and this corner are opposite, so they're joined with that line. And these lines that we're joining here are called diagonals. And it says that they cross at right angles. Here we go, look, there's a right angle, there's a right angle, another right angle, and another right angle. Now, to save a little bit of time, I've used my ruler, and it is a very good idea to use a ruler for this, because when you are joining the opposite corners, if you don't use a ruler, it might not be so clear as to whether or not it's a right angle in the center of the shape, so please make sure you use a ruler. So, tick all the quadrilaterals that are diagonals that cross a right angle, so let's test them. It's just a matter of whether or not you can spot a right angle at 90 degrees. So, the kite, right angle there, right angle there, four right angles around the point where the diagonal crossed. So that one definitely needs to be ticked. On the rectangle, these two angles are acute, less than 90, and these two angles are obtuse, which are bigger than 90. So that one, we don't need to tick. On the square, again, this angle here is 90. This angle is 90, this angle is 90, and this angle here is 90. Just because the square has been rotated round, or the cross in going across that joins the opposite corners has been rotated round, does not mean that these angles here are not right angles. If you get the corner of a piece of paper and try to place it into this corner here, you'll find that it does fit, so it is a right angle. So all of these are 90. So we definitely need to be ticking the square. For the rectangle, we've got an acute angle here and here, an obtuse angle, which is the same as this obtuse angle, and the top and bottom of these diagonals here. So, to cut a long story short, take all the quadrilaterals that have diagonals which cross at right angles, it should be the kite and the square that we have ticked. Kite and square. They're the ones with diagonals across at right angles.